Hey Polish fans, it's Caroline again, and welcome to another video here at Wild Moon Lacquer. In today's video, I thought we'd go over the expanded monthly wish list that I have going on. It seems that oftentimes when I am sharing the wish list list that I have, a lot of the goings on and releases and collabs and collections and things like that that are coming up for the following month haven't been on my radar or haven't been released yet or dates given, things like that. So there have been a lot more that I added to this month's wish list and release calendar that I thought I would share with you guys. Now, obviously for a lot of these, I have already shopped them. I ended up grabbing the collection from Polished for Days. I did shop Glisten and Glow's 14th anniversary, which I'm pretty sure I went over, but I don't know. If you aren't aware, it is Glistening Glow's 14th anniversary, I believe this month. In fact, let's just go ahead and start with them just in case I didn't go over it in the Polish Pickup Wishlist extended release edition. Um, they have their 14th anniversary collection and it is beautiful. I got Celebrate We Will and number 14. Both of these are utterly gorgeous. So Celebrate We Will is an eggplant purple polish loaded with color shifting shimmers that shift green to pink. And yeah, this was one that I definitely wanted to grab. It is a beautiful purple and it has that stunning green shift in it. And as you can see, you do get a little bit of gold at certain angles. Yeah, this color is right up my alley and the swatch pictures and swatch possibly video that I saw of this was very pretty. So that's one that I grabbed. And then I also grabbed number 14. This is a black based polish loaded with larger particled shimmer that shifts from red to pink to orange, yellow, and green. And I don't know if the larger particles means that those flakies, but I mean, look at that. It is so beautiful. It's got this fiery look to it. It is beautiful on the nails. It is just absolutely stunning. I can't wait to see this one in person. It looks gorgeous. So those were two of the polishes that I grabbed from the anniversary collection, that quad. And then I did go to their last call, low stock and on sale section. And I picked, I want to say two from this, but they have a lot of different polishes here on sale. I think I picked up Sunset and Actually, I'm kind of surprised I didn't pick up Namaste on the beach because that's adorable. Oh, this one. I got Mindful Meditation. This is adorable. So this one is a light orchid cream polish with purple metallic flakes and it's on sale for $5.50. So I definitely grabbed this one. This looks absolutely adorable. I love the mix of that orchid pink with those purple flakes. So I got this for my spring rack. I'm very excited to see this one in person. And also one of the things that I noticed is if you scroll down all the way to the bottom, when you go to sales, current deals, promos, and codes, they do have what seems to be an everyday deal that you can use a code, which is thank you 10, 10% 10 off your order, which is really nice. So I did use that on those four polishes. I still have those KB shimmers on my wish list, and I didn't really end up grabbing any of those yet. I had seen them on Beyond Beauty, and I was going to try to grab them there and use a coupon. And they didn't have all of the polishes and I don't know if it was because I was late to seeing them launch on Beyond Beauty, but they were half out of stock and they didn't seem to restock. They just kept losing more and more polishes that were available from that collection. So at some point I might have to go to KB Shimmer's website and grab those that were on my wish list. Um, I did end up skipping Moonshine Manny's release. Victorian Varnish, BCB Lacquer, Psyche Minerals, and Wildflower Lacquer, as well as the Not A Box collab. I don't even remember really seeing too much about the Not A Box collab. Um, like I said, I did get the Polished For Days collection. I have that here at the house already. I need to swatch that one. I did end up doing a purchase from HHC, and I did do Bees Knees Lacquer, and I've already filmed that haul. It was very beautiful. Bluebird Lacquer, they were having a sale, but again, I didn't really purchase anything from them. Lurid released their second collection and I did go ahead and skip 
that I did grab FOMO Lacquers Trio that they released. That is actually a new to me brand. I'll be showcasing that one on one of my upcoming small business Saturdays. I'm still not sure about the name, but let me know if you have any suggestions, but I will be showcasing that trio that I got. So Little Box of Horror was one of those things that I wasn't sure if I had shared with you guys in the last month's wishlist video. So I thought we'd go over that since it is still open. They're open through the 30th. And I think when I shared this, I didn't really have too much on my wish list, but they do have some beautiful polishes. And as you can see from here, I actually didn't end up getting the two that I had on my wish list. I had Dark and Twisted, No Such Thing as Werewolves, and Humblebee's Dance Dance, and I didn't get either of them, but I did get other polishes from this collab. Uh, one of the ones that did sort of catch my attention, but I didn't get it, was from Chameleon Nails. This is Swords versus Claws. It's one of their thermals. The interesting thing about this collab is that it seems that brands often release multiple polishes per box. So right here, Chameleon has at least three if they didn't have one on the previous page. So you have a bright green, you have a dark teal thermal, and then you have this thermal that goes from a dark red to a purple when warm. And that one is very, very pretty, but I did go ahead and skip that one. This is the first one that had been on my wish list. This is Dark and Twisted, so there's no such thing as werewolves. And that image right there is why I had it on my wish list. It is a really beautiful silver hollow with a light yellow shimmer and then multi-chrome flakes. And honestly, it's that addition of that, of that yellow shimmer that I kept hesitating about. In this, you can sort of see that gold glimmer. And then in images like this, it really is pronounced. And I just wasn't sure if that would totally ruin the polish for me. Because one of the things that I've heard as a sort of rule of thumb to try and practice when purchasing polishes online is if there's only one image of it that has your attention, it's possible you might be disappointed. So I I try to at least have multiple pictures and it seems like most of the pictures that I was enjoying come from Cosmetic Sanctuary. And I mean, this one also looks pretty nice in this, but again, that gold glow, I can still see that gold glow. So it's the gold glow <laughs> that ended up making this not one that I grabbed, but I did wanna share it because it is a very pretty polish and if you don't mind a golden glimmer, you might really enjoy that. And then this is the other one that was on my wish list that I didn't end up grabbing. This is Humblebee Polish Dance Wayne Dance. And it's a very pretty polish. It is a berry blue jelly with red, gold, green Aurora shimmer with iridescent flakes. And I thought it was absolutely beautiful. I did see a live swatch clip of this on YouTube and it was beautiful. I did go ahead and skip it though because I just wasn't sure. I think it might be a little bit on the squishy side. I don't know. I, I honestly don't even remember what made me change my mind on this because I was pretty convinced I was going to get this. Here this swatcher is actually showing you the polish on its own, then over white and over black. And again, it is a very, very pretty polish, but I did go ahead and skip that one. So what did I get, you might ask? Well, I ended up watching the Polished Mages video. That's her nails right there, her video on this, and she convinced me that this is actually one that I wanted. So this is Lemming Lacquer's Little Wolf to Queen, and this one is a rich brown jelly base infused with a mesmerizing molten gold magnetic effect and adorned with flakes that transition from orange to gold to green and complemented by reflective gold glitter and gold holographic micro sparks. So this is one that, like I said, definitely caught my attention in the Polished Mages video. I really like the sort of ambery look that's in this base and sort of in that reflective line. Those flakies are absolutely gorgeous. I love the shifts in them. This one, this person swatches, I'm actually not sure if it's over black or not because the base of that is much darker than Polished Mages and Cosmetic Sanctuary. Although I will say Cosmetic Sanctuaries is a little bit dark, but this is like 
black. So I'm not sure what the difference is, where it lies, if it's lighting, skin tone, or what, but this color is beautiful, and browns are definitely a color category that my collection isn't very expanded on, and I thought that this would be a really fun addition to my collection. And then this is the other polish that I got. This is Sassy Cat's Lacquer Pure Moonlight, and it is another magnetic. This one is described as a burnt orange base with subtle magnetic effect shifting pink purple can be worn magnetized or not. This is another one that really captured my attention with this really beautiful base color. That burnt orange will always get me and I definitely do not have a color like this in my collection. So I'm really excited to see this one in person. It just looks beautiful for the fall season. Yeah, cannot wait to see that one in person. I think that is gorgeous. And then I did also grab the Ribbit Stickets Acetone Additive, and this scent sounds amazing. So this is called Moonlit Hunt, and the scent is described as balsam pine, cedarwood with golden amber and musk, light notes of citrus and tangy red berries. So acetone additive is something that you add to your acetone, and then you shake up your bottle, and then you use it as you would any time you use acetone. I like that not only does it add a beautiful moisturizing effect and counteract that drying effect of the acetone, but it also smells much better than acetone on its own. So that is the third thing that I grabbed from the little box of horrors. Hollow Taco also had a release on the 20th. That's another thing that I did go ahead and skip. It is an ice cream scoop themed collection, which I thought was cute. I do really like the Perry Social color because it's a bright periwinkle. It is one of my favorite types of a color. So if I got anything, I probably would have grabbed this color. But a lot of the other colors were in sort of neutrals, like they have a milky white shimmer. They have a black flake taco, which is a black flaky topper, which is interesting, but I do feel like I could get this from other brands. Then they had Sweet Tooth, which is a baby pink. Again, not exactly something that I'm going to spend $12 on. I could get a cream from another brand for less. Uh, Butter Me Up, a yellow, obviously, if you know me, uh, you'll know that yellow is not my favorite color family. Although, of the colors of yellow, butter yellow is one that I could potentially be interested in. But again, basic standard creams are not usually things that really get me very excited. The polish named Ginger Snatched actually is very pretty. A color that I would like to wear in a cream. I just feel like I could get this from another brand for slightly less or just wait it out and get it when Hollow Taco has like a sale or something. And then the last one was Brownie Points in a very dark chocolate brown. Again, not exactly the most exciting for me. So I did go ahead and just skip out on that. Bo Revs had a five piece collection based on the Riviera. So they have the entire collection that you can get for a $5 discount, or you can buy each polish for $12 each. And the one of these that was on my wish list was, you guessed it, the purple one. It was St. Tropes. And uh, now I'm second guessing myself. Is it St. Tropes or is it St. Tropez or something like that? I'm not sure. Uh, I have not been to the Riviera, but... In any case, the purple was the one that was on my wish list. It is a beautiful lavender shade of purple with an aqua to violet shimmer. Very, very pretty and obviously right up my alley since I love purples. But I didn't want to just grab one polish and I do have a few more polishes from this brand on my wish list, but I feel like I can hold out. They do seem to be one of the few brands lately anyways, that is actually keeping polishes available when they do releases, while a lot of other brands are really seeing like a one-time collection, you buy it or you don't, and then you risk never being able to get it again, which can be fun, but can also be very frustrating when every single brand is doing that. You, you can't upkeep that, like you can't follow 25 different brands and buy their collections every month. It just is impossible. But in any case, I do appreciate that Bow Revs does seem to keep their collections. If you go and shop all, they actually have quite a few from the Little Prince collection that I do want to grab. All the Stars Are Laughing is one of them. Uh, I think Cruise Control is another one that I'd like to grab eventually. 
But yeah, for the time being, for that particular collection, I did go ahead and skip it. The other one that I was actually very, very excited about, and as you can see, I had quite a lot on my wish list after watching a swatch video for this upcoming collection, is Cadillacer. So they launched a new collection through What's Up Nails on the 22nd of this month, and it's all magnetics. It is beautiful. However, because Cadillacer is overseas, you're paying a lot more for them, $16.50, as opposed to about $13 or $12 for other brands. And I know that's mostly like an import thing and the fact that you're buying it from a redistributor as opposed to the brand itself, but it does sort of put a damper on the excitement when each polish costs at least $3 more than you've been paying for other polishes. So unfortunately, I did go ahead and skip this collection as well. Um, like I said, it was a lot of magnetic polishes. I, in fact, I don't know that these were the that that was the collection. I think this is it because what it takes, I think, was on my wish list. That's this one here. Uh, Your true colors, you found me, and reflections, and the lucky ones. Nobody said it was easy. Try to hide the pain. Would die for you and remember when it was you and me. So, I mean, lots of beautiful, beautiful polishes. Some of these aren't $16, but they're very close. They are $15.75, so not that far off. But yeah, it was basically that price that really skewered <laughs> any attempts of me trying to buy that collection because uh, as you saw this month, we had a lot, a lot of collections released and a lot of collabs and my budget was simply straining at that point and I simply could not do it. Uh, Mooncat did have a release. I don't think I shared that one. They had a limited edition release, Portrait of an Introvert, and this is one of those brands that is more expensive. They are $15, so I don't often buy them at full price. I most of the time wait for a sale unless like this polish here. It's released as a limited edition that has every possibility of selling out because they do have a very vast following and they often sell out. So I did grab a portrait of an introvert and I did grab two. <laughs> um, I'm an introvert in case you guys did not know. I know that might be kind of surprising since I put my voice out there on the internet. That's not very introverted of me, but as I'm filming, I'm simply talking to myself here in a room. So it's not very scary uh, as opposed to going out in society and chatting up strangers on the street. So it's very different for me. But yeah, I am very much an introvert and shy to boot. So uh, this polish spoke to me on many levels and it is just absolutely beautiful. It is one that definitely caught my attention as we were getting miniature sneak peeks of this one. And I really didn't want to risk me getting the bottle in my hands and falling to pieces over it and then wanting another one and not being able to. So I did grab two. And then I also grabbed one of the polishes that I had been eyeing for a long time. This one, House of Hades. This one was one that I had contemplated getting when I made a purchase from them back when they were having their last sale last year. And I did go ahead and skip this one and I had been kicking myself ever since. I keep seeing people's swatches of it online and it keeps grabbing my attention. So to get that free shipping, because they do have a pretty low cap for free shipping at only $48, I grabbed this one and then I think I grabbed like a sticker or something to reach that shipping threshold of $48. But yeah, this is one of the few times that I made a purchase without them having a sale. And from what I hear, I think one is coming up in April. So for the most, for most of the other things on my wish list, I am holding out for that sale. Then there is the Shift Happens collab that came out on the 22nd. That is Cuticula and Rogue, and it was an Encanto theme. You can get this polish on the Cuticula website, and it is here. This was on my wish list, and I did have every intention of grabbing the collab, mainly because of that Rogue lacquer. Not that I didn't like the Cuticula, but that Rogue polish is 
stunning. It is a beautiful teal Crelly base that is loaded with flakes. You have green and gold glass flakes with magenta and blue metallic flakes. It is a beautiful combination. And then the one from Cuticula is a gorgeous shimmer in sort of this peachy color. But mostly for that one, again, at this point towards the end of the month, my budget was straining and I didn't feel like spending more money at this point because I didn't only have this on my wish list. I did have a couple from the Candy Glaze collection, which also released, I believe, on the 22nd. And for that one, I was going to get Peach Mango and Berry Punch. And both of those, again, are absolutely gorgeous. But again, that is quickly adds up. So unfortunately for the time being, that one is one that I'm going to have to skip unless I sell something else on eBay and a little bit more funds comes in. <laughs> but there was that from Cuticula. Then Glam Polish also was having a sale, I believe. I think they were having uh, yeah, I'll be there for you and gotta catch them all collections. So I think the I'll be there for you, I would imagine is like a friend's collection. And then gotta catch them all would probably be Pokemon. I, I, I would imagine. <laughs> so those are here and I just didn't have any of these on my wish list. So I didn't try to go through and look at everything super, super close, but I thought I'd let you guys know in case you were like a major friends or Pokemon fan. The next thing that I did shop for was actually Sassy Sauce, and they were releasing a beautiful trio, and I did end up grabbing two of these three polishes, Overdrive and Tink's Wings. Tink's Wings was the first one that went on my wish list. That was an absolutely a must grab for that month, but I did decide to go ahead and grab Overdrive. Now, from a lot of the pictures, I was mainly seeing sort of this purple on purple without much shift, but I did see Latania swatch this on lacquered lashes and you guys this has stunning shifts in it so this is a little bit closer to what I was seeing in the live swatches almost this blue leaning purple with a red shift in it absolutely stunning so had to grab this one here in the bottle shot you can see a little bit more of the other colors that you're gonna see and this one well it's a purple so you guys know it had my attention it's very, very pretty. And here it is shown with a matte top coat. So that one I did go ahead and grab. And then of course, Tink's Wings. This one is a large particle blue to green to violet shimmer with matching ghost flakies and red and gold reflective glitter. So this is another one that just has amazing components in it. I don't think I have anything quite like this in my topper rack yet. And I know I have a lot of those. I need to go through them. I keep saying that, but this one is a beautiful topper. It's going to look gorgeous over a lot of different polishes, a lot of different creams and colors. So I can't wait to get this one and to try it over a few different shades. And I love the mix of those ghostly flakies with the shimmer and the reflective glitter. Next up one that I did shop was from Red Eyed Lacquer. They were actually having a sale in celebration of, I think, 1,000 followers. They also had a Sanrio quad, and I don't remember what the details were necessarily, but they were giving away a free gift with a purchase of over $50. I unfortunately am just noticing that they were having the release window be the 22nd through the 24th, and it's the 25th as I'm filming. But I do have it open, so I'll just share it with you anyways. But here's the Sanrio quad. They had one named Hello Kitty, one Pachaco, Karopi, and Bodsmaru. So I really like Sanrio. Sanrio is one of those things that brings back memories as a young kid and teen, but I wasn't really drawn to too many of these. I think of the four, the only one that sort of drew my attention was the one from Hello Kitty, but I'm pretty sure it was mostly the name that I really liked about this. It is a white Crelly with these pink and red, pink and red? Yeah, pink and red hex glitters. And it is adorable, but it just wasn't quite enough for me to grab this. Although, like I said, I did shop from them because they were having a sale at the time. And I don't remember what I grabbed, but they have a lot of different themes. So you can go through all of the different collections that they've released in the past. And a lot of them are still available. I want to say I got one from the Golden Girls 
and a few maybe from The Last Chance. Yeah, I'm not sure. I do have a, a haul coming from this though, so I will share what I got. And then I thought I would share this with you even though I did skip it, but if you were interested in trying Flora 1761, they are currently having a very short-lived sale of 20% off. They don't seem to have sales very often, and they are a boutique brand polish, and they're 18 a piece. So I, for one, would not be purchasing from them at full price, so I was waiting until they had a sale, and unfortunately, they have a pretty limited supply of colors, and I just couldn't bring myself to spend the money, even on sale, <laughs> to buy the color, the one shade that I really had in mind. Um, the one that I did add to my cart, which is why it's saying, I'm almost there, I'm almost gonna get free shipping, uh, is this one here called Sugar Maple. It's a very pretty fall color. It is a caramel brown, very, very pretty, but one of the things that does bother me about the website is they don't have very much in the way of swatches. Like for this polish, they don't have any. They show you their inspiration picks, which isn't really much of an inspiration picks. It's just three bottles of polish. So this is about what you get. You get a bottle shot and a puddle shot, and it just, it makes it very difficult to try to decide if you like it or not. Um, most of their polishes are very simplistic as well. They aren't really very unusual shades, and I'm just worried that I would spend $18 on a cream and have it be something that I could easily dupe in my collection. But if you were interested in trying them, they are currently having that sale, as I mentioned. Hopefully I can get this edited and posted while it's still going on, but there was that. Now going forward, Fancy Gloss has a collection on the 29th, and I have two on my wish list from this upcoming new release. They do have a lot of different glitter toppers and a speckled collection. And the ones that are on my wish list is this one here called Soap Bubble Mix. It is a topper that has a bunch of different sizes of iridescent glitters. I thought that this one would be a really fun topper to add to my collection because as many toppers as I do have, I honestly don't think I have something like this. And I really enjoy the different sizes of those hex glitters. And it looks like there's quite a few different kinds of those iridescent glitters. So very fun mix there. And then also Pastel Mix is another cute one that I thought would be nice for spring. It has a lot of different kinds of pastel glitters. So again, a nice topper that I definitely don't have yet. I'd be interested in trying this over a pastel purple or a light blue, maybe even a light yellow because you're adding a lot of different colors to it, but a very cute one and unusual to my collection. Another one also coming out on the 29th is the Sparkle and Shine box from Wildflower and Nailed It. So a pre-order for the Texas Wildflower Relief Duo, again coming from Wildflower, Lacquer, and Nailed It. So Lone Star State from Nailed It is a turquoise base with a strong red to green shifting shimmer, and Love for Texas from Wildflower Lacquer is a watermelon red base with green to blue to purple shifting microflake shimmer. So both polishes are going to have donations go to that charity, the Texas Farm Bureau Org Panhandle Wildflower Wildfire <laughs> Relief Fund. So that's definitely one that I would like to purchase from. I really like both brands and the fact that it is a charity polish is also really nice of them. Then I recently discovered that Drunk Fairy is going to be releasing more polishes. They have Kismet and Poisonberry coming out. They also have a lot of crackle polishes which are making a comeback this year. Um, so yeah, very excited about some of those. I don't know that they have the two new releases coming up posted on their website just yet, but they do have some beautiful colors upcoming. And then Potion Polish is having a release also on the 30th. And one that is on my wish list from them is Bluebird Serenade. And that is this one here. It is a vibrant blue crelly with pink, red, copper, gold shimmer. So this is a combination that I really, really like. I love this deep but bright blue base with that shifting shimmer. So this is one that definitely caught my attention. And then here are the other colors in the collection. We have Fresh Start, that is a beautiful purple. Blue Skies, which is a lovely blue. Spring Rain, which seems to be sort of a gray leaning purple with a beautiful shifting shimmer. 
Hello spring and April rainbows. Ooh, April rainbows should be on my wish list as well. Wow. And then of course there are other colors that they've released in previous collections. So that's something else that I'm going to have to see if I have it in the budget to be able to grab a couple of bottles from. And that's the last one, at least so far for this month. I have already started to put together a few things that I know about for April, but we'll see how that goes. Um, as you saw, March was definitely sort of gangbusters for me for shopping, uh, considering for the last few months, I really wasn't buying much of anything. But yeah, I have been very excited about the ones that I have got. So you'll see the hauls for those upcoming. But as always, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you had a good time. Let me know down below which releases you're excited for. And as always, hopefully you have a good rest of your day. And I will see you in that next one.